the climbing wall, which I did ask for that. Um, for my kids, of course, for me. Uh, probably the least inspiring workout you could ever see watching me work out. up guys all right do a little workout this morning we'll do some warm-ups and then uh, probably gonna do some overhead pressing and pull-ups see how it goes I don't know if I'm an old man or not but uh, I'm not very flexible, and I tend to be sore a lot. Um, uh, so anyway, always do your warm-ups, right? But look, I want to show you this just to show you that, uh, you know, you can be a, a normal person and work out, and and uh, you don't have to be some kind of uh, muscle head. You, you know, there's nothing to prove uh, to anybody, um, and so, the weights I'm going to use might be extremely light for you. It might be heavy. It doesn't matter. In fact, uh, it's not very impressive at all, particularly compared to you know everybody else on YouTube. So I'm not doing this to try to be like some kind of YouTube fitness guy, right? I just want to show you like what that normal people, like you and me, all right, you know what we can do. So, all right. But I'm not yet done warming up. how it feels all right
straight vertical, easy holds, there's nothing to it. But I am afraid of heights. So even though it doesn't go up very far, when I get up to the loft, I get a little nervous. So, it's all right. It's always good to do things that, uh, you know, push you out of your comfort zone a little bit. I've also got this, uh, this cool pegboard. That was a gift from a friend of mine who uh, built my house. So anyway, so I'll show you some workouts on there someday. But I didn't really have that plan today. I forgot my pull-ups. All right, so also want to show you, you know, there's more. Um, you can do more than just like running, but you can run if you want to. You can do more than just going to the gym and you know doing some dumbbell curls, but you can do that too if you want to. I'm just wasting time now trying to rest a little bit before the next set. Whew, all right. One more set. Uh, I don't really follow a plan. Probably more because of my ADHD. I have followed like different programs in the past though. But uh, for the last few weeks, I've been working out here more and just using what I have. So typically what I do is on Mondays, I do a push and a pull. So the push being the overhead press, or push press as I'm doing today, and the pull being my pull-ups. You know, sometimes I might, of course I also do the power, you know, the cleans from the floor, so that's a little bit of a pulling. Um, I don't do a ton of deadlifts anymore, uh, but I, I could if I get bored with my pull-ups. And sometimes I do barbell rows, um, sometimes I'll do push-ups for the push. Um, and then Tuesdays, I do front squats. Or I'll go to the gym and do back squats. But here lately, like I said, I've been working out from home. I'll just do the front squats and maybe box jumps or something like that. Or I might just go for a walk or run, depending on the weather. Um, Wednesday, jujitsu. Thursday, I do another push pull. And then Friday, I go to the gym for a class I do, and it's kind of like a CrossFit style workout, which sucks. But I probably need it for my old ticker because I don't do a whole lot of cardio. So. Unless I'm, you know, the thing is though, this changes. If I want to sign up to do a triathlon or a half marathon, you see that hair? It's not my hair. All right. If I want to sign up for a half marathon or triathlon or something like that, well then I'll train for it and I'll ch change, you know, what I'm doing to fit that. But right now I'm just having fun and that's the key to fitness, man. Find stuff you enjoy doing and do that. I love this stuff. So it makes it, you know, it doesn't take a lot of motivation for me to get up in the morning, come out here and do this, because I enjoy it so much, so. All right, what else? Oh, I got another set, don't I? Okay.
some uh, pull-up variations. Uh, nothing exciting or major about this. Uh, just getting some more strength doing pull-ups, basically. All right. So my theory on this is I'm, I'm working on one is neutral grip and one's kind of a wide. I'm trying to mainly use, you know, this is more just for stabilization, but I still use it to pull with some. Uh, trying to get stronger, so maybe I can do a one-arm pull-up. Uh, I don't know. Everything I've read says I should be able to since I can do, um, weighted pull-ups with a good bit of weight. Uh, but it's not exactly the same. It's not just using like the strength of one arm. It's not really what, there's a lot of scapular involvement, being able to retract it right, stabilize it. And I just don't think I've got that down yet. So still working on it. Those last ones were not pretty. One more set of those, and then something else, I don't know. supposed to be stabilizing, right? Because I'm using it more. Yeah. All right. Now what? guys maybe this wasn't you know yeah it's probably pretty boring <laughs> all right hey but I had fun I almost forgot one of the most important things right it's the thing that uh, most folks forget but everyone needs to do clean up unrack your weights boys How you do the small things is how you do everything. Much better. Now, go do something fun. 